Why does every guy cheat on you? Trust me, I know. How come girls always call you their friend? I can tell you. We'll talk about your strength and we'll talk about emotions. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Check out yours at secretsofbirthdays.com. Namaste, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Orbits Edition. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Ray Manwatecki, your astrologer and soul biographer here to help you put the pieces of your karmic story together. Well, the sun is in Libra. In fact, we're about halfway through the Libra transit. We'll move from step 13 to step 19 this week. We're focusing on human relations with the sun in Libra, our own relationship to ourself. We're trying to negotiate peace and we're stuck in a grand square, but we'll make some progress this week with that grand cross. Emotionally, it's pretty intense. It starts in Scorpio, then we have Love Fest on Tuesday with the Moon in Sagittarius. Then it gets really serious again for two days in Capricorn. We gotta make some serious decisions. Then we're thinking about the future or feeling about the future this weekend. The Moon signs most affected are Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And the Moon signs going to the dark side this week are Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. Now looking at orbits, man, how our own chakras are affected. The moon, of course, is going to affect mostly the throat chakra this week. That's bringing yellow light to the blue light. It also goes up into the third eye, and don't be surprised if you don't have some crazy dreams. The sun is orbiting our throat chakra as well. So literally, we're getting things all around the throat, all around protection, all around that kind of feeling of choking, choking us up, right? And then Mars is causing heartache to some degree because it's orbiting the heart chakra. So if there's any kind of heart loss, it's a bit more painful than usual right now. Looking at the planets, that trine from Black Lilith up to Saturn means that as you take responsibility and draw emotional boundaries with yourself, you will immediately see old karma cut away thanks to Black Lilith. And Black Lilith moves to step 13 this week, which means we're seeing a whole new reality. Now with the Grand Cross or Grand Square, it will begin to shake loose just a little bit. The sun is out of Black Lilith's grasp, but now is in the grasp of Jupiter. And then at the end of the week, we're going to see the Grand Cross hit kind of a climax. And then, of course, the grand trine with Black Lilith, which is saying as you draw emotional boundaries with yourself, you cut away from negative karma and you move on to your spiritual path, which is a good thing. Zooming in, there's a party going on in Scorpio. Mercury has now joined the Scorpio party. The moon crosses this party this week. And, of course, Venus is at the top. So we are focusing on the small details of trust, being responsible on the mid details of trust, and dreaming about the high details of trust. And of course, I'll have all those details of trust when you get upstairs. But before we talk about you, let's grab the Ascension Elevator, shall we? And head on upstairs for a bird's eye view of you. Folks, this is your captain speaking. We realize you have a choice in the astrologers you choose to fly with. And we'd just like to thank you for flying with Christopher Watecki. Namaste, my Sagittarius is in Sagittarius Risings, and welcome to 33,000 feet. We have the sun in Libra, and we are working on so much. The universe is working on us in so many places. I hope you watched the open and understood the planets there. For you, this all has to do with where you belong, your social context. That's where Sag and Sag Risings are trying to figure out right now. Where do I belong on planet Earth? Who are really my friends? And how does this affect my social worth, right? Self-esteem, the ability to make money, and of course, where do I draw personal boundaries? These are all the different areas that Sagittarius are plagued with. And it's interesting because, you know, the earth is changing. And this is the time, I have to say to my Sagittarius friends, if you have a dream that is a little extra special, something that most people don't want, like you want to be an actress or a dancer, or you want to travel the world, every Sag wants to travel the world, well, you best start heading that way now. This is a time where, no matter how old you are, the planets are going to move so quickly after Thanksgiving that if you're on the wrong path, the currents will be so heavy It'll be hard to paddle back up the stream and make a new turn. So you really want to be careful this week about where you feel like you belong or don't belong because you could find yourself on the wrong school bus heading to the wrong field trip. So as we start off this week, we're in chapter one, moving into chapter two 
of the Sun in Libra. And for you, this is your context consciousness. Where do you belong? Who are your friends? Who aren't your friends? It's time for the annual update. This week, we're moving into the diplomacy aspect of this, which is what is your title? What is your reputation? What do you do out there in the world? And how do people know you? Bringing uh, your social life and your following in concert with what your inner child really wants. That's what it is. And diplomacy, of course, is the politics involved to try to pull that off. Now the sun moves from a breakthrough. You're gonna understand and or believe you understand where you think you belong in the world. And by the end of the week, already be acting on that and loving and trusting that you haven't made a mistake. Saturn is a big part of the story which has to do with inner trust and inner faith and thoughts go into the subconscious. So Sag and Sag Risings will have some profound dreams, a lot of psychic information. You are thinking through your weeds in your soul garden. You're being tempted down the old boogeyman type of thinking and fear. You don't go there. Saturn says love and trust. The things in the past are truly in the past. Let yourself heal and plant seeds, says Venus. Uh, which is moving into Sagittarius, your sign this week. But before it does, you're gonna plant seeds as far as that highest, greatest faith in yourself. Now, Jupiter in Cancer is the part of the story where you're trying to be more flexible with your own boundaries. You are very emotional privately on the inside, very sensitive privately on the inside. And you're having to get strong and be a good boy or a strong girl or a strong boy and draw lines with yourself, your own weakness for the person who's bad for you, your own weakness for chocolate, you're gonna cut away those things and for the first time in your life, feel free of burdens that you maybe never felt free of this week. That's Black Lilith. At the same time, you might be making a quantum jump and really putting your reputation or your finances on the line, making a big gamble. And so it's another big trust and stretch of faith, but just hang in there as you're gonna see, it's gonna work out. Now this week, the slow moving planets is when it comes to trust, intimacy and faith, you want to hold it all week long you're holding and trusting there's no evidence there's no proof that you're right when it comes to inner faith the same thing love and trust there's no evidence there's no proof that you're right when it comes to the innovation of your inner personal dreams like will my heart get what it wants the universe says yes love and trust do not waver and then lastly it's time to be very quiet put an ear to the railroad track to your own inner infant to your own emotions and be intuitive and be self, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Self-compassionate to your own feelings. If you're being a baby about going out on stage, be really sweet and compassionate to yourself and find that connection. So on Sunday, there's gonna be a breakthrough, some sort of understanding of, aha, this is where I go, this is what I should do, I think this is where I aim for next, or, oh my gosh, this person is really not gonna work out for me. Now, Sunday is a cloudy day because the moon is in Scorpio, and so your emotions are really stirring and touring on the old demons, the old way, the mistakes made of the past. You have to forgive yourself and give yourself credit you won't do it again, and on Sunday, you're really having to do that, but if you do, you just may see yourself in a new context out there, a new way. That said, on Monday, you're loving and trusting, you've done everything all right, but the moon is still in Scorpio, and so you're still very private, personal, and maybe triggered easily on Monday. So Monday's a very cloudy chance of lightning day. On Tuesday, it's Love Fest Day. This is gonna be a beautiful, most powerful day of the month to uh, send, give and receive love. The moon crosses Venus, and so you yourself will be feeling it, and it will be sunny and cool. This is Love Fest Day in Sagittarius. Venus in Sag means you're going to be really feeling the love. The world's going to be giving you love. Sagittarius will be on parade on Tuesday. Love Fest Day is your day. You really should wear your favorite outfit and go out and get some sleep the night before because you're already one of the most popular people on the planet. Even Sag Risings, totally fun. Love Sag Risings. Don't care if I hate your sign or not. Throw a Sag Rising on it. I love you. Okay, so the Sag Risings too, this is going to be a fun love fest day. Go out there and tell people you love them. They're going to love you. On Wednesday, it's a cloudy day, but the moon is still in uh, Sag, so it's partly cloudy. You're probably wanting the fun to continue, but the rest of the world is feeling spiritual. When it comes to your social life and whatnot, this is the time on Wednesday and the quiet hump day to listen to your higher self and ask, am I on the right path? Am I aiming for where I belong, where my heart belongs? Am I a stranger among my friends or am I among friends? And if you are among strangers, you are not among friends, all right? Friends meaning it can go and reciprocate with love easily because you're with people like-hearted, like-hearted people. On Thursday, it's gonna be a major decision. You might also have to decide about sticking with a friendship or not, sticking with an association or not, sticking in the PTA or not. Um, and so there's this decision, listen to your higher self, 
Unfortunately, it might be money that's pushing you towards these thoughts because the moon will ask you to release from uh, any kind of negative past money issues. This forces you on Thursday to have faith in yourself and to hold those emotional boundaries. So for those watched over in the Guardian Agency, I will be uh, sending out messages saying, hey, hold your emotional boundaries, hold your ground on Thursdays to the Sag. On Friday, you're going to uh, love and trust and step forward. So whatever that decision was to go for it, leave, to, you know, to run for office or not run for office, uh, that decision must be acted on on Friday. Put that right into action. Don't waste any time. Put it into writing. Remember, we have a grand square, so things aren't moving fast enough anyways. So the more you put it off, the slower and longer you'll wait for results in the universe. So I would definitely put into action whatever your decisions are. If you decided to step away from a friendship, I would just send that Dear John letter, or not Dear John, goodbye letter, on Friday. On Saturn Day, this is a day of real holding faith and trust in yourself. The fears between trusting yourself and where you're trying to go in society come to a head on Saturday. So Saturday could be a breakthrough day of feeling phenomenal or a breakdown day of total fear. The moon in Aquarius gets you in your head, so you're a little too chatty in the head. You might be running a little too far with your thoughts, just so you know. But the real test is to rise above and to realize that honestly they're on separate courses. Whether or not you trust yourself has nothing to do with where you are in the world. And where you're in the world is going to take your trust in yourself regardless. So these two agents need to operate independently, even if the two of them are not necessarily feeling aligned right now. And that's the test on Saturn Day when we come to that full square between the Sun and Jupiter in Cancer. So this is my new fun part. Now we do this thing where I go down to Earth and uh, show you afterwards a special toy I have for you called a Serious Joy toy. So I'll see you right after this. At Solmart.me, we have prices and specials worth jumping for. Like the Guardian Agency, our digital network that will watch over you through email seven days a week, seven times a day. Come join our free open house next week. Just navigate to Solmart.me. While you're there, fill out your date of birth and email address in our custom form, and you'll get seven days free. No credit card required to sign up. Come on down. And while you're there, you might want to also check out the Orbits Report and Jupiter Gets Emotional. Now just $11.11 .11 for a limited time and for immediate download. At soulmark.me, mind, body, and soul improvement. Parachute not included. Hello, my Sagges and Sag Risings. It's now time for your Serious Joy Toy. And the Serious Joy Toy, if you don't know, is kind of a toy to play with in your mind, something to toy with that will help you step into your power based on the astrology of this month. Now, last week your Joy Toy was, what if you could create your own society? I said, go around and create your own society. Do you guys know Walt Disney? Walt well, Disney's a Sagittarius. And if you walk into Disneyland or Disney World, it is Walt's society. So this isn't that absurd of an idea. So your assignment was, what if you could create your own society? This week I'm going to build on that and say it's time to bring an assistant with you through your whole life. And this week I would like you to create your guest list. Who is going to get invited into your new Magic Kingdom and who will not be invited? Oh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I just want you to live in your heart. Don't worry, here's part of the Magic Serious Joy toy. They will never know they weren't invited. Don't worry, but I want you to be honest with who you really want there in your new society. All right, my Sag and Sag Risings, that is all I have for this week. Be sure to play with your Serious Joy toy, and I'll see you in seven days. Namaste, and live, love, be. seen all of that like you're like a booger thrower <laughs> is what you are you're one mud of those pie. mud pies okay fine mud pies boogers pick your goo but whatever it is you're a goo thrower you throw goo at people i know it and you know i know those little goo throwers they're always cute you can see inside their heart is good as they're throwing a spit wad at you <laughs> but as the target of the goo throwers i just have to say it's not fun on the receiving end but we always clean you guys up afterwards we never leave you high and dry lick you clean that's true well, at least strangely enough the goo throwers do turn into people that get you high in high school you're right <laughs> <laughs> you're right 
<laughs> that is an interesting arc of character development in the United States. It'll work. 